about the role that psychedelics might play in that process? <laughs> this, this whole crowd's ready. That's probably the other reason that everyone's here tonight, too. <laughs> what role did they play in my evolution? Hmm. Well, it, uh, Stan Groff called it the non-specific amplifier of your mental state. So, uh, the benefit I had was that I uh, happened into the apartment of uh, who was to become my beloved on my first LSD trip. And she was in the... Uh, higher realms herself that evening. <laughs> and uh, it entirely changed my uh, life. And whether I've evolved consciously or the evolution of consciousness has just caught up with me, uh, I've at least gotten interested in the question and trying to represent that in a new wave of uh, religious thinking tied to the arts, tied to creativity. And uh, so, and wanting to introduce that controversial notion uh, back into things. Because psychedelics were really at the foundation of world, yes, uh, of, of world religions. You know, the Soma of the Rig Veda, uh, 6,000 or, or so uh, years ago. And uh, the oldest, you know, cradle of Eastern civilization there. And uh, then you've got the cradle of Western civilization in the Greek culture, and they take the kaikion. So psychedelics have always been part of uh, the human experience. That there have always been these plants that enable us to say, see the other worlds, and so we can bring them into our art. You know, we, do, we don't have any doubts that it exists. We can see it ourselves. And we can see what it looks like. For me, uh, today, that is an exciting potential. Because more and more people are hearing and seeing the uh, psychedelic realms. And that is uh, generating a body of evidence, in a way. Transmissions from the visionary mystical realm and it's uh, evolving a new uh, uh, sacred art that's turning people on. They don't even, they don't have to take any substances if they don't want to. Uh, they can look at the art and see some of the visions that have uh, come through. And, and uh, so uh, that, that's the purpose that they serve. And if the person takes that as an evolutionary opportunity, uh, it may sometimes be that, you know? That uh, the psychedelic means to dilate the psyche, and that's all. And so when you open it up, and you're in the space of love, and you can emphasize that and orient around it, mm -hmm. then uh, you have the genesis of, uh, of a new you, a new transformed possibility, a new uh, uh, something to evolve toward. You want to become a better person because you want to serve your beloved. And so uh, I think that relationships uh, or uh, your relationship with yourself or your relationship with your world or any of these can become evolutionary opportunities for us. And not that you should take psychedelics all the time. Uh, <laughs> Barkinia, however, do take it uh, over 200 times uh, a, a year, DMT. They take the ayahuasca. They are supposedly not harmed by it, but they do go to their jobs. And I don't know at what dilation their psyche is at. <laughs> uh, I think it might be navigable, and you might just find the sacredness of your station, whatever it is. You know, in that space. I'm not recommending it. Uh, <laughs> but I'm saying that they definitely play a role at this point, I think.